Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna make a, I guess just a quick video of me doing my cable extensions. Um, I filmed myself installing them and going back and forth. Um, you can see I actually put a little bit of flex on the graphics card. That's that's only the professional quality work that I could do. Um, yeah, so for the holidays, I got uh, white cable sleeve extensions. They look a lot cleaner than uh, the mess that I had going on. Um, I, I still need to get rid of that awesome light blue SATA cable uh, that just makes everything look terrible. And I'd like to actually like get everything to be a white cable. Uh, I think that would look super clean, but, uh, you know, there's other Christmases and people always seem to want to get gifts and, you know, it's not stuff I actually really want to buy and do. So, you know, somebody asked for a gift, that's what I'm requesting. But uh, this is just a small progress um, update to my build. Uh, if you don't know anything about my build, I run basically nine hard drives. One of them actually just failed today, so I guess I'm down to eight hard drives. Uh, one of them is a one terabyte SSD from Samsung, the other eight are all mechanical. I think three of them are Goodwill, um, 250 gigabyte hard drives, and the others um, are fairly large. I think one of them is an eight terabyte, the other is a three terabyte, and then uh, I think I got a couple two terabytes. And then uh, you, if you're looking into the build, you can see the NVMe SSD installed. Um, yeah, that's that's where my OS sits, and it is snappy. I uh, really fucking enjoy this build. It's been like, you know, a workhorse for me. I do all these videos, video editing, travel, edit, travel stuff, uh, general editing, and you know, almost every task I can think of: video games, streaming. Um, it's all done in here. It's 32 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, obviously you can see the 3080 uh, to be honest I bought the processor like two years ago and I don't even know if I remember let me see if I can pull it up um, it this actually took me a little bit longer than I uh, want to admit because um, I I installed a new system panel uh, for the fractal defined uh, R6 I think it's the R6 hopefully it's the R6 I'm not wrong um, but the original panel doesn't have a Type-C uh, USB connector um, in the system panel I.O. So uh, there's actually an aftermarket one you can buy off of Amazon that will do that. And that way you can take advantage of the awesome transfer speeds of Type-C. And, um, you know, the only other Type-C port is in the, the back of the case, which is like basically inaccessible because I'm in a small apartment in Seattle. Um, yeah. And you can see my water cooler from Corsair. I think it's like the bare minimum. Um, like eight, I think it's the H40. I don't even, fuck, it's, it's been a while since I've even thought about hardware. I, I can't believe I'm forgetting this. Um, so the uh, processor I'm using is an AMD Ryzen 5 3600. I actually thought I had the 5000 series. I was mistaken. Um, looks like a little down, uh, on the at least upgrade cycle. Um, I think when they come out with new processors, I'll probably uh, upgrade then, but for now the 5000 series, um, it's just not enough for me to upgrade. Not that I've even really looked into it long enough to make a educated decision. I just, I got other things going on. Uh, this has always been a hobby for me for about 10 years, so. Um, yeah, uh, the, the other gift was, I think I got a little off topic there, but the other gift was, uh, little PCIe bracket with a Type-C um, port for, well, I think it was like, I forget what the port's actually called, but it's uh, on a lot of modern modern motherboards for some reason. The Asus A X570 Plus uh, that I bought uh, actually doesn't have it. I must have got just the generation before. Um, so when you see me install this, I actually changed my mind because uh, I was gonna put the 3080 just right there, and then uh, I was like, "Man, I can't, I can't really fit this comfortably. I'm gonna be smashing the cable and putting stress on the port." Um, so I was going to actually move the 3080 down and then put it in, uh, hopefully, a PCIe slot above it. And then I quickly learned that no, uh, I can't do that. And I filmed this whole thing, so. Um, 
you know, just my dumb ass working on my PC and um, trying to make decisions that um, <laughs> I, I, I don't really, I, I easily could have solved my problem if I actually looked at a picture of the motherboard beforehand, but I was like, you know what, I'll just take the graphics card out. It's surely blocking a slot that may be, you know, actually compatible with um, this new PCIe bracket. And then that way I can just stick it in there and have it all connected. It would have actually looked pretty ugly. Um, I admit, if I had the 3080 lower and that dangling cord going across the entire motherboard. So I'm kind of glad uh, that I ended up originally just going with my original plan and having the little um, type C port below. Um, yeah, I, I don't really have anything else to narrate about this. I've had um, this build for a really long time. You know, I kind of like to make videos of me just working on it. I, I am gonna, I just bought a little light for my camera uh, to install on the top. And uh, my ideal um, setup would be, <laughs> you could see me actually vaping a little bit. Uh, my ideal setup is just gonna be um, a little bit more improved lighting. I don't think I'll ever make like 4K videos or anything like that. It's just um, it's a bit of a hassle for me. and. I don't know, enjoy some music and uh, I guess have some some dickhead like me working on his computer in the background. I don't know. Maybe uh, Some people watch cooking videos and have it as noise in the background. Here's, here's me adding cable extensions and a new PCIe uh, slot card.